Every couple has a love story. Ethan and Samantha have a love story. And those questions are, how did you meet? What did you like about each other? And what happened next? We took the time to interview Ethan and Samantha and their friends and family to find out some interesting things and fun facts about their love story. It started three years ago in a city of 2.6 million in a high rise with thousands of residents on a random ride in an elevator. I have been best friends with Samantha since we were five years old. Um, and I, I don't know if I've ever told you this, and if I have, I haven't said it enough, but I cannot even put into words how much it means to me to have had somebody who has been there for me and that I can count on to continue to be there for me through it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I added ugly because for those of you who don't know me, I was a very big tomboy for the vast majority of my life and probably still would be if it wasn't for this girl teaching me what a skirt is and how to do my makeup. Good evening, everyone. For everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Michael. I'm Ethan's older brother. So I've known Ethan since he was born. <laughs> That's 29, almost 29 years of us being together. As you can imagine, we were such good boys. We were very obedient. We never got into any trouble. Was it fate or was it destiny? As Martin Buber, the Jewish philosopher said, all journeys have secret destinations of which the traveler is unaware. They were lucky to meet that day and begin their journey together. These two have fun together and you can see them giggling at a private joke, smiling at each other, and giggling in front of us right now. <laughs> Having fun is a necessity. It strengthens your relationship. <laughs> Sharing sorrow is part of love. We learn who our friends are by how they show up for us during times of grief and need. Ethan and Samantha's friendship strengthen through loss. But sharing joy is a part of love, too. Oh my god, you look beautiful. I can't believe I gave you my face. You look beautiful. I love it. Marriage requires effort and emotional work and ongoing commitment to achieving mutual goals. Ethan is committed to supporting Sam always, to be patient, to not rush her, and to be tolerant. After all, they're unique individuals and cannot think and feel the same on every point. Ethan is committed to always being giving and caring and sensitive 
to her unspoken words and needs. Samantha is committed to caring for Ethan, whatever needed. She will be tolerant of his faults and not expect perfection, and she will always respect him. They are committed to being there for each other. Ethan will protect her, comfort her, and make her laugh. Samantha will cheer him up if he's down or listen to and support him if that's what's needed. Ethan and Sam, to be able to count on someone, your special someone, is one of the best perks of a marriage. You've each found your special someone. Samantha, Eloise, with this ring, I be wed. Samantha, Eloise, with this ring, I be wed. Slide it on. Slide it on. <laughs> Beautiful. The ring fits. <laughs> Samantha, Eloise, please repeat after me. Ethan Russell, with this ring, I be wed. Ethan Russell, with this ring, I be wed. And I must admit, when you told me that you were going to Chicago, I was devastated. But, I am very grateful that our friendship has survived these past years and has thrived. And while I have never had a sister, I cannot imagine anybody being a better sister to me than you have been to me for these past 26 years. I must say I admire you for going to a town where you don't know anybody making an incredible group of friends, a ton of who are up here tonight, landing a uh, yeah. Chicago shout out. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> landing an incredible job and locking down this dashing young man to your left, yeah. Ethan, I knew I liked you from the day I met you. But seriously, I adore you. And you make this girl happier than I have ever seen her in our entire lives. And I take comfort in knowing that she is having another person there who will be there for her through it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> to the couple, I look forward to third wheeling the shit out of this relationship. <laughs> to Samantha and Ethan. So for the family members that are no longer with us, I know they're still here with us in spirit. The grandparents, Nana, Popsy, Grandma, Mimi and Pops, and a special acknowledgement to our dad, Wolf. Um, Sam, Ethan, this would be his most proud moment. I know for sure that it would be. So thank you for that. I can see him saying, finally, the charming name is living up. <laughs> From a young age, Ethan always could light up a room with laughter. And I think one of the biggest takeaways I've observed from your guys' relationship is that you guys genuinely make each other laugh all the time. And I think that is probably what true love is, is straight up laughter all the time. All right, so now on to Ethan's better half, uh, the woman we are so happy and excited to officially welcome into our family. You know, a lot of the things I said about Ethan, you also have. You're funny, you're kind, you're reliable. You're smart, and you love my brother more than anything. Listen, this has already been such an incredible event, and guys, the New Year's Eve party has not really even started, because we were just finished dinner, 
Now we're doing toasts, and then the dancing and partying starts, okay? This is the last time I'm going to say these things, Ethan, so enjoy this, okay? It's your wedding night. You are better at hockey, you are funnier, you are better looking, you're kinder, you're sweeter. You're all these things. You are the best, buddy. You can take a second during all this exciting chaos tonight and pause and really soak in the love of all these people that are here. That would be special. Because these people here are your community that are gonna support your marriage and we're all here for you. So with that, I need to grab my drink, but I would like to toast Sam and Ethan Charney. Thank you. By the power vested in me by the great state of Oklahoma, I pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Ethan Sharney and you may kiss.